Okay, so here we're gonna open that scene. Here's the thing. Okay, it crashes because when I bring it in here, duplicate it over to the other side, technically the shading history is broke on the left hand side. Okay? And no deleting by type of history will ever get rid of this. It's it's a it's a thing that occurs with the the translation between my and ZBrush a little bit, but I've seen it in other programs being translated very well in Amaya. I do know how to get rid of it, and what you have to do is export all and export it as an OBJ. And this is the only way to spot it, by the way, too. So, thing. Notice I have a thing on my desktop. I replaced it delete it and then re-import it back in as thing and you'll be able to see exactly what happens there it is so that occurs every once in a while um, not just in the Maya and ZBrush category but it will it will do it every once in a while using the uh, duplicate special command okay so now what we're gonna have to do is just you realize that the normals just got reversed okay but on the other one the normals were fine that's not the problem it gets reversed a little weird so that's that's one thing we just reverse them and everything's good to go now when you do a combine it won't crash so if you ever run into that problem that's how you fix it now that there's a natural gap here, uh, we're going to take it and bridge these two together. I'm going to bridge it with zero. Okay, now we have a new midline for the creature. Now this midline isn't really a midline, is it? But uh, it will work very well for what I needed to do. Because for these eyes, I'm going to take and turn off keep faces together and then we're going to go into polygons and extrude those and I'm going to do it a little in red and a little in green just like that this one right here this will work for my creature but it will not work for human beings okay so if you ever try to make a human later on this will fail for having good topology because of the fact that the nose ridge needs to go around okay so just just know that so it'll work for my creature but not future projects oops let's turn off uh, key faces together this time I need them on. Okay, I'm just going to do something like that and I'm going to move it all into uh, ZBrush. So this is what I technically needed to do. Just that. Right? So, yeah. Now there's more to edge loops. Um, let's say you know technically I need a way to be able to open the mouth later on so I'm going to insert another edge loop here and I want to keep this as low as possible you know another thing that you can do in here while, while you're in here is take see how many so many edges in here so many edges now the problem with this workflow is you have to be very precise, so precise. So if you hold shift and highlight every other one, OK, 
Okay, now, the trick. You have to do the exact same thing on the exact same side. Now, you could have did this before you mirrored over. I like doing it tit for tat myself. And what I'm trying to do here is teach you to build a better base mesh. You made this out of Z-spheres. Um, Z-spheres are great for concept work, but um, they do tend to add a little bit more fluff to the mesh than I need. So, control right click, two edge loop, and delete. So now I got a lot less edge loops. And I can do that throughout the entire body. I do not need this much topology. And you want to make sure you only delete edge loops. Do not delete things that are extraordinary. Um, here's an extraordinary edge. Okay, So it goes into an extraordinary vertice, and then that actually offers um, support for the mesh. Only delete edge loops. And I would rather do this every day of the week for months than try to retopologize this character. I'm going to leave these others alone. So much better. So here I have what, uh, 3,153 polys, okay? Now usually I would say do this to the hand too, but in all actuality I'm going to live with the hands. I, I like them. They're not that bad. Okay, so now that we've lowered everything, Another thing we might want to do is up some. Remember when we had problems here in the chest? Well, now these things can be repaired. The problem is, don't insert one. Yeah, like there and there works. But don't insert one that goes out through the hands. This being that close, we can get rid of this later. That's not going to hurt it at all. I do want to insert one here though. No, I don't wait. I take that back. It'll insert it for me. So there we go. This is exactly what I need. Now when you get done with this, I'm going to save it and then meet me in the next video.